Ready? We're on. Can you see me? Make sure I'm turned on, Amanda. I'm green, baby. I'm a green. You ain't believe I'm always turned on. <laughs> cool subject. Yeah. New subject. New subject. Hey, Amanda has come up with a great idea today. And Tuesday is tool day or teaching day. T for Tuesday. Two. <laughs> gotcha. Tool. Tool Tuesday. Teaching Tuesday. All right. So You're I'm. Sounding very Tuesday. Yeah, Miss Yan, the Midwest comes out. Sorry, you're from the Midwest. You know what um, amazed me though up there? Whenever um, you sent pictures that time of the lake, oh, it was frozen. Beautiful. It was. Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, it was froze from Detroit to Toronto, and Cleveland. I mean, that is. It was. It was. Ah. I don't. I don't know how people live. I slept with my clothes on in their house. Wow. Yeah, and his furnace went out when I was up there. Wow. Remember Todd's furnace? Yes, I yeah. that. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. I'm Randy Jones, and I own this place. And I, we build tiny homes, like, for buying groceries. So we build tiny homes so we can eat. Look down here. Let me give you a little panoramic view of what's going on here. Everybody's working. We got stuff happening in here. I don't think that radio's going a little bit back in the background. But I'll talk. Yeah. I'll keep going. He can't, right. can't hear it. But we've got about, I don't know, what about eight or nine homes in here or more? Yeah. Plus trailers. We got four or five trailers. But I'm going to show you guys how to trim out a window. Here we go. All right. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of the size of the window why and how we trim them out and then the tools and the technique in which we do it i'm going to try to wrap this up pretty quick for you but to explain the premise over here this is a this is a bathroom this is in the bathroom so on our rjo and freedom design this is about 10 inches in so we know the toilet sits right here this is a 2020 oh, oh, you know i got a microphone on yeah, i don't have exactly. to stream do i yeah, you don't have to stream at all. so i'm not even going to look this is a 20 oh, 3 of and then we also do it in the kitchen now we can throw different size windows but in our standard price we have found that this is just a really good size window for the kitchen and bathroom as you can see we have a fixed window down here this customer wanted a fixed window rather than um, and we don't we have random sizes so if you order a fixed window it's different all right can what? I just say that Maria what? just said the funniest thing he just said oh my god his voice is so annoying <laughs> <laughs> that made you smile, didn't it? I love, I love Maria. Stop. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Okay, over here. Come on over here. Maria. Maria. Yeah, well, you know what, Maria? And this is a 2030 right there. All right? So come on over here. I'm going to show you how to frame a 2030. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come over here. Up there. She's up there in yeah, the she Bronx. Got, she already has that accent down. Is she, she in the Bronx? She's in the Bronx. Hey, hey, Mike. <laughs> How do they talk over there in Jersey? They talk like yes. They talk like yes. How about? A lot more curse words though. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot more How about? How about in the Bronx where they talk like this? Yeah. Uh, like Teddy. Like, like Teddy. Teddy talk like yes with curse words. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's not how it is in Jersey, though. So it's a difference from the it's Bronx and Jersey. Thing, that York thing. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not a Jersey thing. So Jersey, people are normal, and people are from New York Bronx are like a little odd, right? <laughs> yeah, like Maria's a little odd there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little odd there. Yeah, you know, Maria, you might want to back off a little bit there. <laughs> that's right. He's gonna get some calls from home tonight. Oh, yeah. It'll beep 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 beep. Mike beep 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 beep. <laughs> so this is a uh, on our 2030 windows. We call them two foot by three foot. It's always the width and then the height. Okay. All right. So in here you can see it's 23 and a half inches. It's 23. 24 means 20. 
Well, we frame it 24. So when we do our framing with our two by fours, we go 24 inches by 36 inches, right? But the actual window is a half inch shorter, which gives us a quarter inch all the way around to adjust it for, for being level and plumb. Okay, so the hole is actually bigger, but then you got this nail flange, okay? And you see these little holes here? Okay, and that's where we put our screws to screw it into the house. Now this is the inside of the house because you've got your open and close, right, for your window. Now I'm going to show you what we do in trimming these out. Okay, this one's already been cut. This is a frame. Instead of going through the whole process, what we've learned is we're trying to build these. This is an entire frame that you can put in the house. You want to get me better? That's right. That's a great idea. Photo. Photo. So this is the trim on the outside, and this is the jam. Okay. So we have to build the jam first, then we put the trim on. All right. So I'm not going to go through the whole teaching right now, is I want to just give you the concept and how we take a basic. And you all build those. We're, we used to do it all the time, then we got out because the guys can just do it on the fly. But now that we're back into production and really putting these things, we're not really back, we're into production. We're gonna go back to building these up because a person can actually get set up here with a saw and cut all these out and build 50 of them in a day. And then we're done. So one day of building trim and we're done. So, but I wanted to show you that because we're selling our RJOs and other ones with a shell, how you can trim your own windows out. Now you can get really creative with trim. You don't have to just use this size lumber. You can make it wider. You can make it with different types of wood. You could use um, the live edge, barn wood. You can lose these off. You could actually put a, put a curve on the side let the top go out. There's all kinds of fun stuff because that's decorating your windows up. For what we do and for the, the, uh, the production and the look, the clean, it fits our style that we're doing. This is the type of window. Now, you can actually put a sill, on, a window sill that would stick out further, yeah. but we can't put one in the kitchen because it'll, your faucet won't work. You can put one in the bed, in the bathroom, and you could put a couple in the living room, but then I don't put them in the living room because if your soap is there, your head will hit the sill that sticks out. So we kind of we, we kind of see where we're going to deal with the sill. But back to the teaching, Amanda. Yes. All right. So what we've learned here is this is a frame that's already put together. And you're going to want to know, well, how long do we cut this piece? How long do you cut this piece? Well, Mandy, you're going to probably get right on top of this window because right here, I call this a reveal. You got this edge that goes all the way around this window. Can you see that? Okay. So we want to make sure that that edge, that little lip right there, is the same all the way around. Which is, let me take my pin out. That edge right there. So if I've got approximately a half inch here, I want approximately a half inch here. And I want it up here, right? in here. So what I do is you can, you see how you can maneuver and maneuver that around. So what we found is if you take your trim, you actually cut it. There's 23 and a half. We cut it 23 and 5 eighths. You can cut whatever this bottom is, so is the top, right? Now this wood is three quarters of an inch thick on the bottom and three quarters on the top these is an inch and a half. So I'll take the length of this and it's, we're going to call that five eighths because that's right there and I'll subtract an inch and a half because of the thickness. See how this board, let me show you. See how this board is, it's not the length of the window. You got to subtract this and that, right? So then you get two lengths and they're always the same. So now my, my sideboard, 34 and a quarter, 
And these are 23 and 3 quarters. And I, every 2030 will be 23 and 3 quarters, 34 and a quarter sides. The bottom is always on the bottom. And what happens is sometimes, we'll, sometimes if you're not thinking and you're worried about you know, what people uh, think above you and you're, you're not talking right, you're talking like a Jersey or, or, a, or a Bronx person, you go and you'll take this one and you'll put it on the inside. And this goes to the bottom. And now you're off three quarters of an inch and it's a mess, right? So you always do your bottom, your sides, and your top. Bottom, sides, and top. That even goes if you have a window sill. If you're gonna put a sill that sticks out, the sill always goes on the bottom, the two sides, top. Bottom, sides, top. Yeah, so now I cut my trim. Now, just like I told you, you want this reveal right here, right? You want a half inch all the way around the whole window. Then on here, you're going to put trim. And you're going to want about the same all the way around this window. So see that line? My trim would go from here and leave that little bitty trim. And that's what makes the dimension of a window. Let me show you the finished product. So now, this window sits right on top of that window. See that? And you see this reveal right here? And that's what we have, the full length of the window. All the way around, we have that reveal. We call it a reveal. All the way around. Now, once you establish that, look at the window trim's the same. Bottom first, sides, and top. Now you see we don't miter the corners. A miter would be a cut down from here to here, right? It's a diagonal cut. We've done them for years, but this is called, I like to call it a button pass or it's a shaker style. This is real popular right now for the cottage look. The more mitered 45 is is for a different look, a different feel. Right now, this may go on for a few years until the whole style of what we're doing, and you know, it's, it's like clothes. Clothes will run out of style and you start doing something different. That's uh, what we're doing. Cut? Is that the same thing? It's a diagonal. diagonal. Okay, yeah, it's going, yeah, it's going from corner to yeah. corner. You're going long ways instead of, this is called butt and pass. Okay. You're buttoned to here and you're passing this one up for a diagonal would be across here. It's a 45 degree angle. Okay, and that's what Joe said. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And so as you can see, we have our jam. Now this jam here, this is called the jam. That's like a door jam, window jam, everything. This jam depends on how far the V groove sticks out. And I'm gonna take you inside a house right now and show you. Now there's no V groove in this wall. Okay. Let me come in here and I'll maybe give you an idea. All right, so right now we have the two by four. You can see how we got some distance, right? Between, and see, okay, see how the window's close over here? And see how it's away from over here? Yeah. That's because the guys put a level on there and they're leveling up the window and they're tr we're trying to put it in there and make it plumb and square, okay? Then what this does, this sits in this right here. See that? Now, the distance behind here, between that stud and here is three quarters of an inch right here. That's what the, the TNG will fit behind here. Oh. So we won't put this in until the TNG is on the wall. Okay. All right? So we'll take this right here after the whole. And so what, when we run TNG, when you guys are doing this, if you buy an RJO and it's unfinished in the house, and I'm going to take you inside where we're degrooving, you can degroove all this right here. You don't have to be perfect about your V-group. It doesn't have to land exactly on that. You can, you can come back a half inch, a quarter inch. So it's like, you see this little piece of wood here? I mean, this distance from here to here, right? And let's say that measures nine and a half inches to right here. But you got a bunch of boards that are nine inches. Throw them nine inches on there, right? Okay, so look here. So nine inches lands right here. You, you nailed it. And it's fine. Now watch, keep your camera right there, Amanda. So then, I, then you're gonna set your window trim. Look, it covered up that it gap. Covered it up. There's nothing there. You'll so you never, have, ever you know. Some play. You got some play. And of course, before you put your trim in, 
before you put your trim in, you're gonna take spray foam, or you can do fiberglass, and you shove it inside here, all the way around, and you seal that up, and that's the last part of insulating you do in your house. Because this whole house will be, and you know, you don't have to spray foam your home. We have went, man, how many years? We went like two, better than two years without ever spray foaming. People have lived in them, they're good to go. So you don't necessarily have to spray foam if you don't want. But if you do, you put spray foam or, or uh, bad insulation and you'll just push it in, in there. And then you'll take this. Isn't that pretty? Now look, if you take that nail gun that I've got out there, then you just, you kind of, I like to eyeball it. So I'll get up here and I'll go side to side, figure it out. Look at this line right here. Look at that line right there. It looks good. And I'll pop, 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 pop. And it's, it's good, pop, 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 done. So if you buy an RJO, it's unfinished. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna give you two of these, you don't have to cut them. But if you wanna be creative with your, your windows, you can build your own. We'll give you one for there and one for there. So when you put up your V-Groove, and I'm gonna take you right now some guys that are V-Grooving, and then they're gonna be ready to put that trim in. We'll take this trim with us to see if they're up that far and we'll pop it in place and see if it works, okay? So the test is on, Manda. Yes. Let's go see what we got. He hasn't got any trim in there. Brett is really slow and he's got some mental issues. So we're gonna go in there and see if we can't help him out a little bit. <laughs> Poor Brett. Brett. All right. Just exactly what I was talking about. See how the V groove is not against the two by, and they've got them right in the middle, right there. Now the only thing is because Brett, he's, he's mentally something's wrong with him. He didn't cut the bottom out, see here? He didn't cut it out yet. So I can't put this trim in and show everybody the world. So poor Brett, we'll go in here and see if we've got something that in the kitchen. Work. I'm going that way. <laughs> Thank you. All right, poor so Brett, he don't care. He don't care. Uh, no. He, he, <laughs> no. he can't care. He doesn't have the ability to care. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna Brett might or may not, we'll have to see, and you know, he'll insulate all the way around the perimeter first. I'll probably forget. He'll probably forget. And then, let's see here. Look at that. Oh my God. Isn't that beautiful? Nail it. Nail it! <laughs> and that's your trim. Isn't that cool? And you put pop, 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 but you kind of move it around, you make it work, fit it over, and that's how you, and you always follow your trim line to make sure it's always the same all the way around. What did Jim Carrey? Like a glove. Like a glove. Like a glove. Like a glove. <laughs> Good deal. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Fred. Thank you, Matt. Free maker, both We're trying. We're making them. Yeah. Now, Here, you want this one? Work out the same, you gonna want this one? They all work out the same depth. Because I have noticed some of them, the dimension for one window to the next won't be exactly the same. Yeah. Well, now that we're using like this right here. Uh, what he's talking about is see the distance in that v-groove yeah because because brett didn't pull it tight enough when he was building this okay it's going to be wider here than it is where, where it's tight sometimes they're going to be different though aren't they These are deeper. our hopper windows if the sill if they stick in further in the house then the jam is a little different but when we use the same windows the same v-groove and the same two by fours we can make all the jams the same okay yeah, that was, that was two and a yeah, so what we do is we make the hoppers different than we do the 2 0 and 3 0. Awesome. Thank you. Do you have any more cups? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Look, he, don't want, he doesn't want to build them. <laughs> when we had our old cabinet shop, we had one person do nothing but window trim, and yeah. it worked out really well. All right. Um, let me show you in here. So if you get an RJO that's not finished on the inside, you'll be doing this right here. You good? All right. 
So on this end, they're putting their tongue and groove on the, on the walls. And they're like, OK, well, why do we have a board across through the window? Well, they like to do that because it keeps the lines. It keeps the same. Because when you go up on this side, none of these boards are perfect. So this board may be an eighth of an inch or even a sixteenth of an inch difference. And by the time you get up here, this one could be down a quarter. This one could be up a quarter. And you, you're off a half inch, OK? So what they do is they put this one through there, and it keeps them true. So then when they get to the top, this board fits, meets right on the money. So what we would like to do is have Conan and Zach show you guys how to put up grooves. So we'll have it on our website. You guys go to there. You can watch beautiful Conan put up T and G on the walls. Yeah. So we're going to help you. We're going to show you how to do that. This is a 2030 like we just showed you. Here's a 2030 here. So what we'll do is see the foam that goes around the sides? All this foam, so it's ready to go. Now here it's sticking out a little bit, right? So they'll take a razor knife and just run it down there and just pop that off. Yeah. Okay. Now, how does it work any different with a fixed glass? Fixed glass is about the same, except for the jam part is going to be a little different. And we actually build the jam, the trim, and everything in one shot. Okay. If you want fixed, and all you do is put the trim on the inside. And that's all you do. But this is a 3-0. Let me take, I didn't bring my tape. But this is a 3-0, right? 4-0. So it's four foot tall, three foot wide. And then we'll make our, our trim, like we grabbed for the 203 the same as that, pop it in place. The only thing you got to remember is you can adjust it left and right, up and down, diagonal. And once you get all your reveal, that line is always the same around there. Then you can pop it in place. That's Tool Tuesday, Amanda. That is Tool Tuesday. That is, no, it's not Tool, tool teaching, that's teaching. Teaching Tuesday. Teaching Tuesday. Yeah. I had a couple of tools, but yeah, this is Teaching Tuesday. That's how we do window trim. You can see how simple it is. I get excited about telling you all this and showing the guys. Actually, you can tell. We, we love talking about it because it's really not that complicated as everybody thinks it is. Right. What I like to show next Tuesday, if we're at the point because uh, it's probably going to happen another day, is these bathroom walls. I'll show that sometimes. How we assemble the walls, how we build a barn door, and how simple it is just with a couple tools. Actually, this whole house, these houses can be built with a few hand tools, and a you know, table saw is nice. If you don't have a table saw, I've ripped them with a skill saw, you know, our yeah. board. But it's really not an, a lot of tools it takes to do this. I, I think that's great, and everybody's paid attention. They've learned a lot and everything. The one thing uh, Rhonda is asking on here, and I don't know if we have this or not. Yeah. Um, she said, are there any 8x24 or 8x26 that you're working on a freedom without a dormer? That'd be an RJO. Inside, inside here. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know that size. So we well, Brian, Brian and Mary's is a 20, that's a 24 yeah. foot RJO. It's, it's out in the it's beach out, area. Yeah, the beach. But we can do, we can show that. Here. Now, we do have a, um... We probably got one that's closed, I'm sure. Not with a door. Everything's got a dormer right now. Yeah, you know? okay. Now, the one Brett was in, yeah. that's a 20-foot RJO. Okay. 20-foot. So it's really just the same as a Freedom. The, the Freedom gives you that dormer. Of course, the additives of, you know, a tankless water heater, mini split, of and all course. that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know. exactly. All right. Hey, I'm going to show you two homes down here. All right. What we're looking like, what we're, what's going on here. Now, what they're talking about is a washer box. He's Tom, Tom has got a washing machine box there in his hand. And that's for the hot and cold. It's got a PEX fitting, so our lines fit on it, and a drain. Okay. So they're talking about where to put it, how to plumb it in. It has to have a trap, and where it's going to be exiting out. And we usually pre pre plan all that before that stage. Um, left to right, but I'm going to show you this one here. I think it's neat. Okay. The actual homeowners are here today. Okay. They came in and they're staying in their house. So this is. 
This is the first coat of their staining, and it's a 9 by 28. Are you holding the ladder? Oh! <laughs> Come here. Yo, you're good. What are you guys doing? We're staining it. Looks great, buddy. Is that a sickens, right? The sickens? And that's your first coat. Nice. So this is this is the homeowner. Hi. You got right on your nose. I probably got it all over me. <laughs> what do you think? It's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, we're thinking of not putting the second coat on it. Yeah, we like it. Nice. Yeah. How do you like your house? I haven't gone inside yet. Oh my gosh. Nope. I'm going to let them finish. I'm going to do my thing, and at the end of the night, I'll take some pictures That's when cool. they're done. That would be so hard to do. I'm being a good girl. You are. <laughs> That's cool. All Good. right, I'll make it back to work. All right, I'll see you. Hey, just a reminder of uh, what size and everything. Nine by 28 right here. And this is a Freedom because she's got the dormer on it. Okay? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. It's a board and batten siding. And then she's got the cedar shakes up in the, up in the dormer and in both gables. I, you know, I think that on the right path was maybe doing just one coat. I mean, that doesn't really not. Well, well, what happens is a Sickens is a three-part process. Okay. That's the color. Then the two, two and third, two and three coats, right? Mm -hmm. Is the, is the protective coating on it. Oh. So you really need to you need to put the two and three on it, oh, even okay. though it makes it darker, but it that will not have the protective coat on it. Oh, I see. So a second is a three coat. They have to do it. It's a three, three coat times. process. Yeah. I see. I see. They have to do That's it three good times. To know. And you're saying seconds is the best. Well, we've used it for log homes ever since we've been in business. Yeah. And when I'm red on, I don't know where it's at. Excuse me. I got it, buddy. I'll just turn it down for a second. You're all right. So this hey, is. Hey, Joseph. Hey, Amanda. Hey. So he's trimming out the dormer, and as you can see, he has. Go up and down a ladder a bunch of times, and there's all these trim angles and stuff. There's some trim into a to a dormer. It's got different angles everywhere, so it's that's why it costs more to have a dormer in a house. This is nine foot wide. Her kitchen will be down from there down. So over at the end of that fender, and it's an L-shaped kitchen. This is her uh, um, air exchanger. Will be here. And I'm trying to look for the blueprints. Here you go. So if we got the blueprints, you guys can see the blueprints, right? So the French doors come in. This is all open right here, which is right up that window right there. And then there's a sofa that sits here. Look at the size. This is all open room. Every bit of this is an open room, Amanda. All this. French doors, all from where you're at. And the kitchen actually starts right here. And the kitchen is just here in the back. And stops, there's the bathroom. Wow. Sink, toilet, shower, done. 36 inch shower. Yep. And then you've got your kitchen, that. And then from here back is all. I have never seen a tiny home with this much room well, I like look that, at that i like that the kitchen and the bathroom are across from each other because you have it makes all this space this is an rjo yeah mm -hmm. except they wrapped it in the back right yeah. with uh -huh. the door on the side that's right done that i'm taken back by the size and it's a nine by 20. man look so if you go room. if you go let me step it off step off here you go one two three four five six that's almost 18 feet of nothing in the room. Wow. Let me go back here. 18 feet. Wow. 
all the way to here. I know, and I'm all the way back here. And you're in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. So all this is open, 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 open. You won't feel crowded in here. Like Jessica just said, this is more open than my home. Is this not? And then here, look, you got a full kitchen, right? Yeah. Stove, refrigerator, kitchen. everything, all in here. And then you Big have a, you slide in here. You got a 36 inch shower. 36 inch shower, sink, and toilet. So, and then somebody just said, wondering if the end is big enough to wall off her small bedroom. You could. If she sure could. A 28 uh -huh. foot, and yeah. she may do that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then the mini split, the mini splits up there, and it's in a perfect spot because it can blow the whole length of the house. Man. Amanda, on top of that, you got the dormer. You got the, yeah. Hey, climb up on that ladder there. Look at the size of that dormer. Oh, wow. It's a big house. Number 28. And having French doors or? A French doors. Okay. Not a yeah. uh, flat door. And this was on a Craftsman style trailer, but it didn't have to be, you know? Yeah. There's not going to be a loft over there. Not on the plans. Yeah. Let's see. I don't, I said to have one. No. Nope, no loft. And when you don't put a loft there, it's come, enormous. it makes it feel so big. I think yeah. I would just have one loft. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I always tell people, they, they always say, we well, gotta have storage, put all my stuff, get rid of it. Get rid of your stuff, everybody. You move in like this, you don't want stuff, man. Um, Felipe says, so with fenders, what size, uh, let's see, so with fenders, what size RJO requires a different trailer? Um, you could put this on an RJO trailer. It's going to have triple axles like this one does. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. She just got, she got more headroom because of the axles. It dropped. And she you actually know. got about how much more headroom? Eight inches. Eight inches. Eight more inches. Yep. Great. Sure did. Nice and warm in there, wasn't it? Now we've been looking at these for the last couple of days. Those actually just came in here the other day, that brown, uh, blue one, the gray one down there. Okay. And um, that's, um, I forgot his name. I didn't forget it, I'm not gonna say it. Yeah, I but know. But we're, we're getting yeah. it ready for him. He wants to rent it out while we're here, but we haven't nowhere to hook it up yet because we don't have no infrastructure to rent right. it out. Mm -hmm. But we're going through that one. As you can see, we're putting the stoop. This one was been outside, it wasn't in a hurry, but we went in, we finished the siding. So Brad up here today has put all the siding up, the door up, the stoop up, the sh shake shingles on it. He's done all that by himself today. All that. He's just, we love him. He's just come on board about two weeks ago. Good. Yep. Now this is an 18 foot RJO. And just the way the, the color is on that one, it's is that not, like a little dollhouse. Is that not bright looking? Yeah, it's not a little dollhouse. See now, See, with no trim on the edge mm -hmm. and then trim, it big makes, difference. then it just seal it up nice yeah. and tight. Big difference, yeah. Yeah, Brad's awesome. They're full in it. We'll oh, just wait. Fine. Yeah, they're putting okay. sinks and stuff in there. And then this one actually is darker trim. I mean, when, I mean, uh, siding. It's got the board and batten. It's still got the shake. Love the colors of it, too. Yeah, and the blue. What I like about it is now you can see what a screen door does to a right, house. Exactly. It just makes it feel warm. It makes it home. You don't really see many screen doors on tiny homes. No, now, really yeah, and because of uh, because of the RJO and Freedom Floor Plan, because we go in, we can swing our door in, mm -hmm. and it goes up against the bathroom wall, so it doesn't take up any space when the door swings in. For years, we made the door swing out, thinking it's best to not take up floor space but because it goes in we can have a screen door now i love it yeah screen door i use a screen door all the time we put an outside receptacle now that is the vinyl flooring in there right. okay now underneath that vinyl floor is a one by six right tng yellow pine okay. that you can finish so in years to come we don't know where this house is going to be in 40 years from now should look pretty darn close to what it looks like right now. Absolutely. You can tear it up, sand the floors, and have that beautiful wood floor under there. Yep. We also build our interior doors. 
said before, doors are unbelievably expensive. They are? Unbelievable. And they're hard to build. Yeah. We're building them ourselves. We've been doing it for about a year now. So now we're trying to get it down to where we build, you know, to get a system down and how to build them and what we're doing. So it's we're honing in on that system. Now we got the last one, Amanda, and this is the one that you decorated. And so what we're doing is we're staining it, we're painting it, we're caulking the outside, we're getting it all done from the person who bought this. We haven't put it on the forefront of getting it done because we really can't rent it out. It's gonna go on the rental program. Um, so right now we brought it in and that's what we're gonna do is finish all the outsides according to the customer's request. Yeah, did you wanna walk through that one, one time? Uh, we can. I know you've been in it a bunch. Who decorated this? <laughs> well, gee, I don't know. And we've got a um, a tour of it on the website or on the YouTube and Facebook. Yeah. And you know what I like about our shell price is that if you guys ever want to buy a home that's unfinished, you'll get the floor, right? You'll get the lofts. You'll get it all, and then everything else is just in the house, and you can assemble it. But what's really cool is, look at this, okay, look at this window, Amanda, that I was talking about. Yeah. See this window sill? And now see how wide that sill is across here? Yeah. And see how it sticks out? Mm -hmm. Now you can do that too if you want. Um, but this faucet can't be sit right here because it'll hit that sill. Right. That's why we had to move it on the corner. Great Little point. things like that, you wouldn't believe the time that it takes to figure that out and after home, after home, after home to make sure the sink fits because our counter, our cabinets are 20 inches. They're not 24 like standard homes, you know? So our countertops are 22. They come 26 inches. We got to rip them off. We take the scrap piece and we put a splash board on the back so we don't waste anything, but all that has to come into account. So after we've built 75 of these homes, these are the things we've learned about the window, where to place the faucet, where to put the sink, how far does that sink set right here. We're gonna show you that. So when you do buy a home that's in a, that's in a shell form, well, this will already be marked for you. You know where to put that sink, okay? What size was this one again? This is a 20 footer. Yeah, somebody just said that. They just answered it. Uh, they said, I think it's an uh, eight by 20. Yeah. Eight by 20. Yeah. This is such a beautiful home, because you think about, think about living in here. All right. And it offers a lot. There's a lot to it. It's got the, the Randy rack. Yeah, what's the real name of that? The Randy rack. It's the Randy rack. And it's really, it's a spice rack. And we just lost power. Oh, we did. <laughs> but the tour of this one is on Facebook and on ready. YouTube. Then it's just unplugged us. Huh? You're you. fine. <laughs> the lights just went out in there. It is. Yeah. Oh, you're fine, buddy. Look, the lights just went back on. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the side of it. Let me see if I can just show it a little bit. Nice color. And yeah, and that's not been well. stained, so we're going to stain the cedar shakes. The doors will have a clear coat on them, so they'll be cleaned up and clear coated, and that's, that's what we're doing now. Getting yeah. ready to go. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is we're cleaning up a lot of our straggling little jobs that we've yeah. been kind of pushing along. It's so cool. These are going to get done while they're finishing those five, six homes. Mm -hmm. By the end of the week, all these will be out of here. And those five or six will take the place of these homes here. Right. And we'll just cram them all in here. And our finishing crew now will go in and clean the windows, do the caulking, do the, the toilet, the sink, the supply lines the cleaning, the spec sheets, you know, Just the test everything. everything. Yep. This is the next, this is the next generation of homes. We got four trailers in here. They're spray foam plumbed and they're ready to go. So everybody today, just to wrap it up, we've shown you how to trim a window. We showed you how to come up with the dimensions of how to trim a window, what the jam is, what the trim is. We showed you how to fit it in, how to V-groove and how to put your window in just directly and how to nail it up, right? 
Then we showed you a few of our homes and where they're at that place where you can just plug it in. If you ever buy an RJO shell or even a Freedom shell, we're going to show you further in some videos of how to go about finishing out a house. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's show. It's Tech Tuesday, Amanda? No. Teaching Tuesday. Teaching Tuesday, yeah. Teaching Tuesday, yeah. everybody. So come back tomorrow, and what's tomorrow? Wednesday is Wanna Wednesday. With, uh, Wednesday is, what did I say it was going to be? What do you want to do on Wednesday? <laughs> I've got it. Um, I've got the title, but yeah. I wrote it down. Now I forgot it. That's kind of cool. She <laughs> yeah. came up with some thing, and I think it's great. So we're going to start trying to start follow this protocol and hopefully help you guys watch our videos, enjoy them, subscribe to this channel, tell your dogs and your neighbors and everybody else about this channel, and submit to it, subscribe to it, so we'll be famous. And too, I'm also going to post on Facebook the outline of what we're going to try and do with the videos and everything, so everybody will kind of know what's going to be going yeah. on and how it's directed. It's a TV and, program. Yes, yeah, so you'll know what to expect. It's a TV guide. Let's see what Amanda's doing on Thursday. I used to love getting a TV guide. Everybody, I don't yeah. know, back in the 70s and 80s, you just read the TV guide. Isn't that silly how yeah, far we've come? I've read the Bible, but I'd read the TV guide. <laughs> Bible's too hard. <laughs> die, see, die later, oh, though. Oh, gosh, I can't deal with all that. <laughs> Everybody, have a great night. I'm Randy Jones. This is a beautiful man to buy. Oh, did you show your gloves? Oh, no. That's something. We, did you bring out little oh, notes? Oh, gosh. Everybody's signing off. we got to say thank you. <laughs> But Angie, our, one of our salespeople, just sent a whole bag of knitted stuff, goodies, uh, like a shawl and everything for us girls. And we've been getting gifts. Unbelievable. Uh, we got little um, Christmas ornaments yesterday, Randy and I did, both little marshmallow. Mine, mine had to deal with hot flashes. His had a tool belt on it. But people are unbelievable. They're just so kind. Gosh, somebody sent me some... Uh, Protein for my shakes, yeah. and it didn't have a name we on it. Couldn't figure out who Thank it you, was. whoever it was. Appreciate that. Mom still got cards coming in. She yes. got something today. Um, Connie Whitener. Yes. Thank you for the lights. She sent us shop lights. Yes. There's like six, I think, in a box. That is so nice. And they're LED shop lights. Wow. I, think about who sends people shop lights. A company, a company getting it from from their. Unbelievable. It's awesome. You got um, some great people. Michelle Faber. Yes. Thank you for your gifts. Yes. Um, Paula Jackson, of course, Becky Newell, and then thank you for everybody. That's, everybody. I'm sorry if I'm missing you out, uh, but we were just trying to think through the people that just sent us some stuff. And, and I, then sometimes it gets open before we get to see who sent it and everything. Oh, like yeah, that. it gets in the office. A girl, if it's food, it's gone. <laughs> I saw we don't see it. <laughs> yeah. So, or it comes out here and it gets floating around. Exactly. So, That's right. yeah, you, you guys are. Awesome. Yeah, I, I never expect anything. We don't expect anything. We just appreciate you guys buying houses from us, don't you? Absolutely. So, all right. Everybody have a great night, and we will see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Yeah. All right. I got to go.